Bet House member video and is a part of the ongoing Force for Good class series. To learn more about this ongoing series, please visit TibetHouse.us. Okay, isn't it a contradiction to say that for some reason we do need to meet someone who has at least a, an inkling toward enlightenment? Has No. That we need that to meet them. No, it isn't but a contradiction. at the same time we say Tara, we ha have the nature of Tara. And no, it isn't a contradiction because, and I didn't say you have to meet in person even if you're somewhere where they're not there. They say you have to, but because they have, they have left texts, we are fortunate to be in a world where there are texts, and there are books and instructions, and etc. There are various types of presence. I'm not saying, I mean, there are a few Dalai Lamas and people like that, but it's a subliminal thing. The, the reason that it's not contradictory is they're not transmitting their mind into you, but you subliminally, your own mind suddenly feels there's a way to be different than I am. And, but you have to bring that out of yourself. But it's the idea that there's a doorway that you can get there. It isn't that you instantly are there because you meet this person. That would be a transmission thing. But when you encounter someone like that, then you feel, I could do that. Subliminally, you don't necessarily personally, you know, analytically feel that because I said subliminal. It's subliminal. Mm -hmm. It's, a, it's a, like a double bind thing. You have to realize it yourself. No one else can realize it for you. But in order to realize it yourself, you have to meet someone else who has realized it for themselves. And that's why we are especially fortunate beings, because we're in a world where there still is a record. Thus have I heard at, on a special occasion. Thus did I hear on a special occasion, someone remembered what Buddha said. We have Heart Sutra. We have, we have the idea that this is possible. There are many people who don't think that's possible. You go ask Vladimir Putin, you know, can Russians attain Buddhahood? I don't think so. What? Are you a heretic? No way, you have to obey orders. March, we're going to go conquer the Ukraine tomorrow, after we fix Syria. No, they don't believe that. Therefore, they just want to have power, and they think that's all you can do, because they justify how they behave, because human beings are only a certain way, they're all selfish. Therefore, they need military control. You know, you can go back to Confucius with that. You know, that's in every society. I don't think it's a contradiction, if you understand it right. You could say, par is paradox the same as a contradiction? Contradiction might be a crippling thing, whereas paradox involves the ability to embrace ambivalence, to embrace ambiguity. The ability to embrace ambiguity, let's say. That I think is not only, I think that's what Buddha's mind can do, it can be self and other at the same time. That's an embracing of ambiguity. From the point of view of someone who thinks you can only be one thing at a time. But uh, contradiction would be some crippling thing, which means it can't, it's impossible. Or you have to like, have blind faith about it. And therefore you can't understand anything. Then you can run around like some of these people do, who pretend to, pretend to be great authorities, but this who say, the greatest thing is to cultivate don't know mind. If you don't know anything, then you're really enlightened. <laughs> that's what they say. And they act like that's a real achievement. That's really great. I'm really great. I don't know anything. That's, that's the war cry and the cry of triumph of enlightenment is duh. <laughs> yes. This video was brought to you in part with the generous support of the Tibet House U.S. membership community. To learn more about the benefits of Tibet House membership, please visit Tibet House US, including invites to special trips to study Buddhism up close and personal with Robert Thurman during his annual geographic expedition trips. Trips in 2018 include Mongolia and Bhutan. To learn more, visit BobThurman.com.